First you add 4 cups of baking flour to a mixing bowl. Then you add 1 and a half teaspoon of salt. Then you add half cup of oil. And 1 tablespoon of butter. Add a little bit of boiling water at a time as you are mixing until it forms a soft dough. Note, water must be boiling water. Once your dough is nice and soft, remove it from your mixing bowl and add it onto a table. Add a little flour onto your working surface to prevent the dough from sticking to your table. Now roll your dough out into a sheet, add some flour. Once your dough is rolled out into a sheet, add a little butter and a little flour to your dough and roll it all in together. Now once your dough is rolled out, pinch out small pieces and roll them into small balls. Now using a rolling pin, flatten your small pieces of dough into rotis. Place your roti into a flat frying pan, ensuring each side cooks for plus minus 30 seconds. Now we have added butter to one side of the roti, but this is optional. So let's demonstrate just one more roti. This mixture makes two dozen rotis. When rolling out your roti, ensure that you roll it as thin as possible because if the roti is too thick, then it gets too hard overnight. With the roti that we've made, you can keep it in the fridge or freezer and once reheated, it's still as soft. <music> 